5G is a global phenomenon. So I'm speaking today with Juan Carlos Zeron. He is director of LATAM Telco Solutions at Red Hat. And I'm talking to him today about the development of next generation mobile platforms and services in Latin America. So Juan Carlos, you're a telecoms industry veteran, but you've only relatively recently joined Red Hat. Uh, can you tell us why you've joined the company? Thank you for the question. Uh, open source has proven its real value. After so many years of innovation and successful adoption in many enterprises around the world shaping the digital transformation journey. So now talking about the telco industry, it is the time for this industry to adopt also these key elements within the strategy and to get uh, all the same benefits uh, and to become a key player in the verticals industries development in the country's economies. So open source is going to play a key role to replace and define standards for mobile networks. We can see a number of uh, initiatives where consortiums alliances, where the CSPs are very active participating like Open RAN, Telco Infra Project or Open Network Foundations. All these are aiming to achieve the changes in the uh, telecom industry technology to become digital service providers. And if, if you go in the details of these uh, projects, you can find common elements uh, as fundamental requirements like the software defined networks, uh, serviceability principles, multi vendor interoperability, and of course, open source. So uh, they are looking for open the architecture and adopting uh, through the open ecosystem, also get benefits like uh, faster innovation, agile, new service launch, um, open, OPEX reductions and CAPEX optimization. So the adoption of open source will foster greater innovation. Many more players uh, who will be incorporated in the ecosystem uh, are going to bring greatest uh, changes in the 5G. And, and great beneficiaries of this are going to be the service providers, the members of the ecosystems, and the uh, end customers as well. Now, of course, an important element of all of this is virtualization. Can you just tell us a little bit about virtualization 2.0 and its relationship to 5G? As we know, virtualization has existed for several decades in service storage and, and networking. What has made virtualization different is in the last decade is the virtual machine concept, where the virtual machine is a software defined computer with every component explicitly defined and represented, uh, such as the memory disks um, and CPU. Once the VM is built, it's used as any other computer and operating system and applications are installed and configured within. So essentially running this static VMs um, on general purpose computer is what it can refer to virtualization 1.0. And our Red Hat virtualization platform can fit with that. Now, virtualization 2.0 refer to dynamic movement of those resources, where um, another platform, OpenStack virtualization, is a platform that uses uh, these pooled virtual resources to build and manage private and public uh, clouds. But while virtualization management platforms make it easier to manipulate the features and functions of the virtual resources, OpenStack actually uses the virtual resources to run and combination of tools. These tools create a cloud computing environment. Then I can refer as virtualization 3.0, the containers native virtualization running a VM over a container. Uh, OpenShift virtualization is a feature uh, of Red Hat OpenShift that packages each virtual machine inside a special container, letting them modernize legacy application alongside new cloud native and serverless workloads. So OpenShift is an enterprise ready governance container platform with full stack automated operation to manage the hybrid clouds, the multi clouds and edge deployments, driving an open 5G introduction adoption. So all of this is very important to the evolution of the telco's next generation platforms. Can you just tell us where the Latin American telcos are in their 5G journeys? They are very, very active, I, I think. Uh, we do see many conversations 
in, in different uh, dimensions, RFPs, RFIs, trials, POCs, uh, workshops. And I can say that in general, everybody is looking how to evolve to, to prepare 5, 5G somehow. Uh, we do see HCSP is facing different journeys from different current conditions and, and business situations and technology situation as well, and also the organization development. So, but I can say that um, all of them aiming to, to reach a, a cloud native environment towards 5G. And some examples of these um, conversations go for, for example, Telco Cloud, Open NFB architecture, uh, how to bridge from 4G to 5G, Open RAN, high interest in this concept, how this uh, new possibility can uh, faster deployments, um, operations flexibility and lower TCO, also applications uh, modernizations. Um, also very in interesting one is the organization's culture transformation. So how to define the incubation of these concepts and how to promote the, promote the open communications. And, and also I can say the, the ecosystem is very active. The ISB is certifying BNFs and CNF in our platform labs. Um, also conversations with system integration, putting together proposals, preparing the development of, of trials. And in summary, the CSP is defining uh, their journeys uh, towards digital service providers. Okay. And are there any other key themes or patterns that you're seeing running across all of the mobile operators in the region as they make these 5G journeys? I think one very important is, is the cultural uh, adoption of uh, this new mindset. I believe this is a major topic, um, maybe as important as the technology uh, conversation related to how to um, shift this mindset, uh, working across ecosystem partners in new ways, and the telcos um, are inviting us to these conversations, how to um, promote this uh, move to horizontal cloud, uh, rather than the silo approach that um, maybe is not uh, clear for all the areas in the operator, how to take advantage of this. And, and of course, the planning of the 5G and the edge, the role that the CSP in the edge the trend and in partnering with the hyperscalers and the importance of a hybrid multi-cloud strategy and having a common platform where this uh, common platform can open opportunities even for the B2B segment and, and try to get more business with, uh, with enterprises. So the outlook is extremely positive. I do see the service providers will continue exploring and selecting the, the hybrid multi-cloud strategy from core to edge with the native cloud, cloud environment uh, accelerating the new G possibilities. Well, those are definitely themes and patterns we're seeing across the world as well. Juan Carlos, it's been great to talk to you today. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.